continue looking at our student projects, and this was the second project, which is an issue commercial. That is to raise awareness of a political or social issue. So our first group, we're going to go ahead and just jump in and look at the video. Remember, the time was very limited. They could choose 30 seconds or 60 seconds, one minute, and I think in this case they chose one minute. Again, the idea is remember, don't be looking for how to make a video great, but did they cover enough of the don't do bad things to make it get done and to not be too bad? So let's go ahead and take a look at this video. Okay, I think this is an interesting idea, and they've really done a good job on show, don't tell, right? That's really the thing I love in this video, show, don't tell. So they've taken a social issue, which is this idea that young people have to have so much pressure to look beautiful, especially with Instagram and all these things these days. And it's very popular these days for young college students to be wearing makeup and have a lot of pressure, whereas in Taiwan, at least, it didn't used to be that way. There's a lot more freedom to just focus on your studies and things like that. So I think that's the issue that's being addressed here. Now the question is how to show that without explaining it in detail. I mean, you can see it'd be very easy just to begin explaining things, but they don't do that at all. So let's go ahead and look at the video, and this time I'll give a commentary as we're going along to show you the parts that I think they've done well or some places they've made a mistake. Now they've started out with this extreme close-up, which is actually a very interesting idea because it tells us this is the hero, right? So right from the beginning we get the hero, isn't that great? Right there. And that extreme close-up makes us feel a little bit personal. I, I like that, that's well done. Now we get this kind of moving around, and I want to draw your attention to the place that they've decided to shoot in, the location. So what they did is they went ahead and they borrowed a the, uh, room in the library, and they said they liked that room because it was big enough for them to set up and do things in, but it also had those windows with the light coming in from outside. And as you can see, the light is, let me take a picture here, there you go. The light is diffused because they have those blinders down, and that did a good job. So even if it's a little bit later or earlier in the day, it's not going to change the lighting a whole lot because they have those screens down diffusing the light. Also, the walls are all white, so you get a nice diffusion of light inside of the room, which is pretty neat. What they've done here is, draw your attention to it, is they have two cameras. So they have a camera on the tripod, but then they also have a camera that they're walking around in. They wanted to create this feeling of moving around and then changing the person at the desk. Now, I think they ran out of time to execute it exactly the way they wanted to, but it is pretty creative, I have to admit. So we move around to the camera, and then as we get to the 180 degree, the idea was the person would change. Uh, or in this case, nobody, and they're going to have somebody come in, and they're talking on the computer and saying, yeah, changing people. So we're trying to get this idea of, oh, it's, uh, she's not so beautiful, she's not so attractive. Now, there's another thing I want to draw your attention to there, which I thought was very brave of them. We get our text on the screen, but then this bit here, black screen, that is very creative of, 
of our students to do that. Of course, you can see this in, in video sometimes, but they only have 60 seconds and they're using a bit of it up on this black, but I thought it was very, very well done because what they're doing is they're using silence to kind of get your attention and draw you in. So the commentary from the people at the computer saying, oh, she's not so beautiful, she's not attractive, doesn't she use makeup, doesn't she use something? And that blackness brings you into a kind of a feeling of, the, of this person, our hero, is like, is this really what I want to worry about? This is a little bit depressing, and I think they really carried that message well, actually. But she's saying that she feels that she's not that beautiful and she needs to have makeup to feel good. But then we come back to the black again. And we replay some of that audio to kind of reinforce it that it's in her, in her mind. And then she's going to take off her makeup in order to express herself. And that's a great shot there, isn't it? I think that they've done a really good job of, of working with what they have. And sending a powerful message for a complicated issue, right? It's not a simple issue, but they've done a good job to bring that kind of feeling forward. And that black screen was good. Ro rotating around the room, it was a great idea, it didn't quite work out, but the black screen was good. And then this shot here of, I feel good, I feel confident, our hero has come through some kind of journey. And isn't that really awesome? When we talked about the story, it's gonna have a beginning, a middle, and an end and your hero is going to come out of the beginning. Wow, this video is super clear on that. Here's the hero, has a journey, it turns to darkness, it's black, comes out with a smiling face, and everything turns out. And of course, they have a text on there, be yourself, which is a little bit of telling, you know? We always say show, don't tell, and you can use the text to tell things, but I think in here it's quite appropriate we don't get a kind of talking or lecture, but just boom, right in your face, a black and white. Very well done, I thought. Okay, so that is an, one group. Let's take a look at another group. Okay. All right, well, that was very short. In fact, our first video was one minute, 60 seconds, and this video went for 30 seconds. I've always got to admire that if you can finish a video, you can produce it, and you can fit a message, and it's clear into 30 seconds, then I think that's a job very well done, accomplished, mission accomplished, right? And they've done that here. I think that the message here is conveyed in two ways. One is, of course, there's a dialogue, a narrative going over the top, but they're using a tagline, right? Look up. They're always saying, look up, look up, look up. And this idea of People are using their cell phones and not watching the world go by, uh, not enjoying the world or participating in the world. So that's the social message. And I think that, again, timely, well done, good idea, like that. Hard to say that's a bad idea. And they give you a very clear idea. Stop doing that and look up. So let's watch this video with some commentary over it as I give you some input on some parts that I think were well done and maybe some parts that are less well done. I think the clock at the beginning is a great idea, isn't it? They're just showing you that it's going to go through the day. So they're using this idea of throughout the day, from sunrise to sunset. That's kind of their frame. I thought that was well done. People are obsessed with their phones, and you shouldn't be. You should look up. They do this pulling the focus here. It's out of focus, and then it comes in the focus. Again, that really helps you to get a feeling for it. And then, I love what they did there. Whoops, let me jump back a second here, because I, I specifically thought they did a good job here. This shot here, down this street, which kind of looks like an old alley in Taiwan with old houses, it's kind of traditional looking. I thought that was very well done. And the color looked desaturated. So this group was the group that did the 
the training with the horror in it. Remember, they were taking the color out of there. They're increasing the um, graininess of it. So obviously, this group likes to play with their filters inside of their editor. That's great. I mean, if you like to do that, that's good. But you can you have to make sure it serves that message. And I thought here it did. It kind of make it like like uh, you know. It's a very nice place to be. Why don't you enjoy that space? Why would you ignore it? So basically what we have is this idea that the guy's on his bike going around and encountering people who are you know, looking at the phone all the time. And here's a great example of a nice little shot. I asked them about how they did this shot and they said they were trying to be careful about it. It was a difficult shot. So they find a convenience store and it's in the morning and you can see it's in the morning. How do you know it's in the morning? Because of the, sh the shadows that are coming down. Look at that, it's very, very clear. Let me back it up, look at those long shadows. You see that? I'll bring that up here. Those long shadows. This is in the morning, and I mean, you saw the clock, and I think they really did go out in the morning. They didn't just go out late and then change the clock. They really did go out early. And by doing this, they're getting really nice light. If you can shoot in the morning, early morning or afternoon, you get that sun coming down at, a, at more at the face level rather than top down. The downside is you get shadows, but it does a good job on lighting faces and bodies and buildings. It does a really good job. It also is a little less harsh and bright. You know, when you walk out in the daytime, in the middle of the day, like noontime, you feel like you're cooking under the sun, right? But if you're out in the morning or the afternoon, it's much softer. And that's what they've taken advantage of here. They've purposely gone out and taken a shot during that morning. And look what they did here. They got their subject, their talent, facing right into the sun. So when she looks up, nice bright shot. Nice bright shot. Perfect. And that fits the message, doesn't it? Because the message of the video is look up. Don't be looking down on your phone all the time. Look up and enjoy life. See what's there. So they got her looking up and boom, nice light right in the eyes, right in the face. That must have been hard for her to look straight in, into the camera like that because it is a bit bright looking into the sun like that. But the morning light. Like and he's like, enjoy your life. Enjoy this time you have it again. A nice shot there. I thought that was well done with the lighting. You see? Nice light on the face there. I thought they did a very good job of bringing in that light there. And the shadow on her face here gives her a nice three dimension, you see? So the sunlight's coming in here, casting some shadow down on the nose. And on this side of the face, some shadow. And nice and bright over here. That is a great shot. And I really admire them for that. And they said they did try to get the morning light, but they didn't realize how good it turned out until they got back and did their editing, of course. Now here's the funny part, and I do think they're doing a good job. Remember, these guys did the horror genre, and they're trying to have some fun with things. So they've got this guy running around, and on his bike he's wearing his gloves, which is a kind of a tradition for people in Japan or Taiwan who, or even in China they wear uniforms or some kind of official somehow so he's kind of the official coming around telling people hey you guys need to look up and stop uh, being obsessed with your phones right so great little message and so he drops in and he's even in the classroom all of a sudden his bike shows up and here he is Mr. Inspector I guess and he shows up to tell people look up right so the message is here clear, clear here show don't tell even people trying to be nice to you and share with you, you're ignoring them. And here comes the look up police, right? Look up. And here we go with another great idea, and I think this is just a wonderful thing they've done here, where they have framed their shooting day from the morning until the afternoon. And you can see this is now the afternoon, and the sun is down at this low angle, and you're getting these lights coming, the light coming down at this low angle giving you a real nice kind of um, a shadow and soft lighting feeling. And you can see that on his legs here, for example. You see how it's kind of lit along the edge. And then his face, just lit where he's facing over there towards the bridge, but then dark on this side, darker with some shadow. Really well done. I just really admire that. Not an easy thing to do because you have to time it just right. <laughs> 
Okay, 30 seconds, my goodness. That's a pretty good job done in 30 seconds, isn't it? So I think, what can I say there that they did wrong? I don't see much that's wrong. They showed, they didn't tell. They did have the narration, but the narration was look up, look up, look up. And that's kind of a tagline, well done. So there go your social, uh, political messages. In both cases, I think our student groups had a very good insight into express yourself and into participate and don't be obsessed with your phone. Hey, can't beat that. Hope you can make a video that has a nice message too. Good luck.